I know you've seen me eat that before, <laughs> but I liked it so much that I'm eating it again. So after that very delicious and very familiar breakfast, al fresco breakfast, <laughs> I am here once again on the observatory hill in Shimla and this time around we are exploring a place which was actually the residence of the governors or the viceroys of British India before the Viceregal Lodge was built. It's such a beautiful day here in Shimla, right? Look at the blue skies, the bright sun and when you feel the sun on your skin you definitely feel that strong warmth of the sun but when you feel the wind blowing you also immediately feel the chill of that wind. So I think the combined effect of that warmth and chill it's all the more beautiful. I'm not sure if you're feeling it though through the video. <laughs> Probably not, but yeah, it's a very beautiful day and we are ascending up the observatory hill to reach Peterhof today. Wow, look at that. The lawns in front of Peterhof and Peterhof actually is an interesting name. I'm not sure where the name came from. I mean, for that name, we know where it came from. <laughs> it came from the Diodar Cedars. <laughs> if you've seen my previous videos, which probably you've not, uh, you would have known a little bit already about these cedars. But yeah, as for the name, it's a bit, it's a bit of a mystery because Peter Hoff actually means Peter's court and there's no Peter here. So it's interesting where it came from. so beautiful i'm sure they're also feeling the warmth of the sun and the chill of the wind that's the cedar cafe of course and we'll have maybe a coffee so We've placed the order for our coffee, our hot coffee, on this slightly chilly, warm kind of morning. I think we are almost there with the coffee, I mean. So, Peter Hoff was actually the residence of a lot of governor generals and viceroys before the other building on this hill, the one that we saw in the previous video, the Weissregal Lodge was built uh, and that one was built in the 1880s. Wow. As for Peterhof, this was built earlier in the 1800s and I think it housed the first a viceroy in 1860s or something like that. So, do you know that there's a difference between governor general and viceroy when it comes to British India? I also did not know. That's our coffee. So, governor generals... <laughs> oops. <laughs> Governor generals actually existed before 1857, which is when the mutiny happened. But after 1857, we had the viceroys. That's the famous TV tower, I think, of Shimla that you noticed in the distance, right? Wow. But yeah, it's true. Governor generals before 1857 
and after 1857 reporting directly to the crown, the viceroys. This is such a beautiful location, but in spite of that, uh, it's actually a, a historical fact that the viceroys who were staying here did not really like this place as much and they really loved it when they moved to the other place next door, which was the Weissregal Lodge. I think I find even this view beautiful. Clearly, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> Maybe I have beautiful eyes. <laughs> There were 34 water tanks, by the way, <laughs> in the previous shot. But yeah, I think Shimla, it just always keeps amazing me with its beauty. And it's continuing to do that even here at the historical Peterhof. All right, so as wonderful as Peterhof has been and as enjoyable as that otherwise ordinary coffee here has been, it's time for us to descend and to go down the observatory hill and head back towards the ridge, which is where I'm staying and which is where you are staying, not too far from the ridge. So yeah, let's go. This was a beautiful day at Peterhof. And it continues to be a beautiful day. Beautiful sunny late afternoon actually. You've not seen me, but at least you've seen my shadow. <laughs> That's maybe good for now <laughs> but yeah it's it's beautiful to be amongst these tall cedar trees it's also beautiful to be looking at that moss up close the moss in the once summer capital of India <laughs> How lovely, up close and personal with the moss. I'm really amazed at how many things I've been able to do here in Shimla and just how many days worth of experiences I've been able to have. Look at that and we still keep enjoying these views the sun and the shadows and the beautiful trees. But yeah, I think we are pretty much done with today's walk. I'll definitely have a few more things for you in the next few videos. I believe in the next few videos, we'll probably try and close the current chapter of Shimla, as beautiful as it has of course been. But of course, we will be back because I think I've fallen in love with Shimla. <laughs> All right, I think this is about it for today's video. Today's walk that started with a nice breakfast brunch and where we explored Peterhof and had a good time. I'll catch you again. Bye.